Hey, you did a really good job. Do you um, boil your cup ramens like a little bit more chewy-ish or do you want to chewy. do more soggy? Definitely chewy. Thank yeah. you. Team Chewy, whoever gets soggy noodles, you guys are nuts. Yeah. Ah. Hey guys, I'm Evan. Today I'm here with Amber Lou here. Hi guys, my name is Amber. I am in a group called FX and I also do my own stuff on the side. She's gonna be answering some fan questions that we handpicked. And what better way to make this video lit than the lit ramen itself? Oh gosh. The fire noodle. I kind of regret coming now. I'm confident I can be unfazed. I'm pretty good with spicy. The situation after the filming is always really bad. Hi. <laughs> Be good to me, please. I'm gonna read it yes, as how it yes. was written, okay? Okay, okay. What keeps you motivated? Because girl, I have a hard time even getting up in the morning. Sorry from the valley, you know, you have to use a hand motion. Girl. girl. I get bored really easily, so I just need to like do something. So even right now I'm like, my, my knee's going. I think I just want to challenge myself and just kind of learn as much as I can. How do you make this ramen? Let's look at the ingredients, you know? Just something small and like a squirrel, you know? Like, oh, like a squirrel, squirrel. Like, okay. Like, like, like a squirrel, like hi. Oh, like, so you're always questioning yeah, everything always, in the world. Like, Curious George is my spirit animal. Embassy Kaji, Jack Jack. And I kind of wanted my dog to be like me, kind of be trilingual, so I wanted him to understand. Trilingual? That's a lot of training for a dog. <laughs> hey, my dog's gonna be the smartest dog out there. Do you think it's harder or easier for K-pop stars to have a connection with their fans compared to Western artists? Pretty much similar here. You just do fan greets, you know, little handshake events and high five events. In Korea, it's like when we're promoting full on, we see our fans like every day and at multiple events because they follow us to the next event because oh. everything's pretty local. I think it's how much you want to be connected to your fans is I think the question. People on the streets, when they see me, I'm just, I'm taking yeah, pictures yeah. with them and stuff. So it's, it's, it's fun. For you, you're very open-minded. You are what you're like behind the camera, in front of the camera. So you're really good at letting your outs. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going away. I'm trying to like keep it down, but I'm just you're like- You're getting a little sweaty. <laughs> so it's Mike Wazowski, wink or blink? Okay, so he has one eye and you technically wink with one eye. That would be winking to us because we have two eyes. That's our standard, so. But then that's the only eye he has. If he's closing that. So he's also blinking. Yeah. <clears throat> Does he wink or blink? Please comment below. Blinks, blinks. Blinks, 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 blinks. Are you close with any NCT members? I actually adopted 10, the member 10. He's my son. He's just my child. You know, your child. I need to take care of him. He's your soul. My soul child. Who's one member that you're close with? I'm close with 18 members, right? Sorry. Like, there's so 18 I, members? Yeah, I think there's 18 members. Wow. I understand now when I was promoting when all like our seniors would say like, oh, what's your name? I'm kind of like at that stage. Uh -huh. that's, so you understand. I kind of understand yeah. now. So no, 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 no. No hard feelings. No hard feelings to NCT. I, I'm sorry. I would like to know all your names. I see you guys. You guys are working really hard. You guys are doing your thing. Hi. Ten. Hi. Ten. You're my child. Ten. What has been the hardest challenge so far in juggling being a K-pop star and also keeping yourself grounded? How do you cope? with both mental and physical health stress. I like my job. I like what I do. And I think when I'm really, really immersed in it, you just kind of forget everything around you. So it's always good to remember to get up, walk around, yeah. eat something. Mental health is a very, very big part of life. I think people don't tend to think about definitely taking the time out to have some alone time and also, um, sharing your problems and being able to talk about it, um, be vulnerable to, I guess, people around you. I think people are sometimes scared to share because they don't want to be judged. And you do have a lot of supportive people yes, in your life. Yes, and I think That's them, great. Who's your personal hero? My sister. Jackie is the complete opposite of me, and um, I look up to her. I feel like you guys are, you guys have similar personality. You guys are both outgoing, both really friendly. She made me become outgoing. My sister's really taught me how to be in touch with my emotions and making sure having emotions is not something to be ashamed of. How do you think male K-pop idols feel about doing so much skinship since there's so much fragile masculinity in the States and masculinity is important to men? Masculinity and femininity are on a spectrum. You can be any part on that spectrum. Honestly, if you're close to that person and they consent to that touching, go ahead. I'm very touchy with my bros. Yeah. I'm really touchy. With girls too, girls link arms all the time. I'm so scared of linking arms. I do not consent to people linking arms with me. There's only like a couple people that I got used to it. Crystal's one of them, my member. Oh my gosh, I can't. when she links arms, I'm just like. Mm. But you guys been together for like nine years. I don't know, it's just like, you're in my armpit area and it's just like, <laughs> kind of like. Armpit area. So when you see Amber next time, link your arm. <laughs> Just link. What was it like in the Korean music industry being a female idol to not prescribe to typical gender roles and beauty standards? What types of criticism and support did you experience? <coughs> Sorry. 
Oh, it's still burning hot. This doesn't go away. You're just refusing to drink that water. Oh. <laughs> because K-pop has now become, become so international, like once you kind of put yourself out there, you're prone to just getting criticism. Yeah. Definitely there's a huge amount of support, but definitely on like the uglier side, something so simple as like, if I wanted to go work out, like, oh my gosh, a girl, you can't have muscles. Things like that happens every day and something that I've gotten used to. Hopefully like through what I do, I can slowly open someone else's mind. Girls, if you want to go work out, go work out. Go get those muscles. When I see comments on my Instagram and on my social media, they're always just like, thank you so much for, you know, representing like the tomboy crew or, you know, I appreciate all that support. How did you find out you were allergic to mangoes? You're allergic to mangoes? Yes. Oh my God. Oh, uh, okay. No. So I can eat mangoes. I just can't touch it. What? Yeah. <laughs> I, literally, if I have a mango and I, and I want to eat it, I have to wear gloves so that the juice doesn't touch my skin. I remember one time I was eating a mango and I went like this. In my, with the juice. With the juice, and my ear got a rash. I can eat it though. But it touches your lips when you're eating it. Nothing but the teeth. Like this is me eating mangoes. Do you like shrimps? I love shrimp. I can't eat shrimp. I'm allergic <gasps> to shrimps. When I eat it, like I get like hives. Oh And I was like, my life is over. Can you eat like lobster? I can eat lobster. Okay, that's fine. It's just okay, shrimp. Okay, good. It's just okay, shrimp. Okay. What are your personal thoughts on LGBT people, especially in the K-pop industry. Mm -hmm. My good friend Marshall, he's gay and he's also um, in the K-pop industry. It's very, very progressive and I, I really thank them for their bravery. Times are changing right yeah. now. So, for the good, um, you know, for the better. So, LGBT community, just to do you, um, stay strong. We got people out here supporting you, so. Very, very good to see that people are supportive, you know. Times are changing for the better. Should we expect any comebacks from FX. Me and the members are always talking about it. Right now, I think we're just taking time to do our own careers at the moment. Luna's putting out her own single. Crystal's doing acting, Victoria's doing acting. So yeah, we're all kind of just doing our thing right now until the right time comes, right? Thank you guys so much for waiting and yeah. being supportive. I have a mixtape out. Yeah, it's for free too. So you can go watch that on my uh, YouTube channel or on SoundCloud, go listen to it. Uh, thank you, Evan. I'm like really sweaty. Like people don't know, but my back is really sweaty right now. I noticed that you're, like, you're constantly <laughs> yeah. letting, letting the air through. <laughs>